Here we are at the Fishing with the Stars event sponsored by Target and we've got none other than Jimmy Bullard with Where us. Where are we? Jimmy, what an event this is for Parkinson's. Blinding, isn't it? What a turnout. Cameras everywhere. Look at all the balls out. Professional job. Um, and one of the sports I love as well. Fantastic. Premier League back this week. Excited? Ah, oh, buzzing. I've got the show as well. Stop around and say all Saturday. And the, I know the championship started um, last week, but the real, the big McCoy this week. Let's get cracked, you know. Can you City, see City all the way. I was going to say, can you see the top two changing from last year, in all honesty? Uh, yes, I can. You know, I'm, I'll tell you what I'm excited about. Frank at Chelsea. I want to see how they do. Um, you hear there, they're top four, top four, but in bringing youngsters through. I'll keep looking at my rod just in case it gets yanked Not, not a problem at all, mate. Um, but yeah, I um, hope Frank does really well. But yeah, I, look, I think Man City, far too much. Liverpool did have a freak year last year. I don't know, let's see. Do you think they're maybe not as good as what everyone's making out to be? I think they, without being rude, I think they overperformed. Um, so this year, you know, if they finish as close as they did to Man City this year, I think they're truly on their way to becoming one of the greats again as they was back in the 80s and 90s. Talking about Chelsea, you're actually excited because we've all known they've had such good youth player for yeah. so long but never been given a go. And now it's just the first time where Chelsea fans can be almost reconnect with the team like John Terry's coming through back in the day. That's exactly right. You know, English football have missed that so much, you know, and with such a prestige club like Chelsea, for it to happen there, let's have it right, they have got serious team as well, you know, with the players that the world elite players already but with Frank I just think he's got that there the fans are calling for it you know and then bringing a young manager in it just shows me that they're, they're going to go down that route you know giving their youngsters a right good go you know not just a game here or there you know I think he's going to bring five six or seven of, of, of them in which would be great you know for English football well Tammy Abraham's given the number nine shirt it's a big thing as well well big call that right number nine to feel feel that jersey you know uh, I'm just excited, you know, because it ain't often clubs, you know, we keep on about it as commentators, as pundits and this and that. The youngsters ain't given a good chance no more, so it's going to be nice to see him in the elite, you know. How much can Pochettino, can, how long can I he keep Pochettino. performing miracles, though, I on love. next to nothing at Tottenham? I think, I, I think he's one of the best without a shadow of a doubt, you know. Um, I'm surprised none of the big, you know, Madrid of the world didn't really... You know, there's a few rumours of him going, but Tottenham have got to be so happy they've kept him. You know, I think he's an absolute blinder. Um, keeps overperforming, don't he, all, all the time, you know. Um, has, have they brought any new players in there? Uh, M. Don Ballet for 60 odd, 60 odd million. And, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, I love Poch as well, just his attitude and you know, he's just game all the time and he's just game. Bottom of the table as well. Is it a big ask for the teams that have come up to stay up just the way the Premier League is now as well? Tough league. But the good thing about the new teams coming up, I don't think there's a bigger gap as uh, you got your top, for me, your top six, seven. Bottom. I think it's a big nip. You know, you're in the mix. You get a good start under your belt, confidence. You know, I just feel done it in the first year up. Um, yeah, I, I don't think, if I, was a, if I was coming up as a player from the chat, I don't think there's nothing to fear. As well, Marco Silva Everton spent an awful lot of money this summer. Last season wasn't his best. Yeah. If he has one of those runs, is he in danger of losing his job early with the amount of money he spent? Yeah, everyone's in danger of losing his job in the Premier League. Let's have it right. You know, even if you haven't spent any money, you don't get results. Chairman's knocking on your door. You know, so yeah, everyone's up against it in the Premier League. If you don't perform, there won't be a, there won't be a manager in the Premier League sitting happy if you haven't won. If you haven't if you haven't got three points at your first. 9, 12 points, there'll be shouts from the terraces, you know, people will be on you. So before we go, Jimmy, you're going City to win the Premier League again this year, I'm guessing? I'm going City to smash the Premier League, not G just to win it, smash it. Jimmy, absolute pleasure. Thanks for joining Cheers, us, mate, sir. as Thank always. You, mate. No worries.